Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. Hey, it's our discovery unit. So we're going to be talking about a TV program on the Discovery Channel. I haven't seen this one myself since、uh, I don't have a TV. Oh no! I had a TV for a long time and then realized I wasn't really watching it, so I disconnected my cable, and now I just have Wi-Fi. Um, and I gave my TV to my doorman a couple weeks ago. Actually, got it out of the apartment. So this is a show, though, that I would be very interested in watching because it's about cooking and、uh, even about you know some healthy ways to、uh, to live and to eat. A lot of people are looking at what they eat lately and trying to get away from canned food and fast food and maybe. Eat things that are fresher and from the garden and the farm.、Uh, yeah, eat fresh food and not processed food so、totally. much, or not fast food, high carbohydrate foods and stuff like that. We don't want to avoid that kind of stuff. And of course, you might want to try buying some cookbooks to come up with some recipes so that you can eat more healthy. And today we're talking about a particular、uh, chef. An author. I think she's also a musician.、Uh, she's、uh, multiracial here. I think she's biracial. She's Chinese and Jewish mixed there, growing up in the Midwest, U.S. And she's a famous chef, so she's got some wonderful recipes and a blog that you can check out. So that's the subject of today's lesson、mm. on our Discover Unit: Molly Yeh's magnificent multicultural meals. Let's get to it. Let's find out all about this great chef from the USA. Let's read the entire contents of our lesson right now. Molly Yeh is a well-known cookbook author and food blogger. The people who know her best say that she eats, sleeps, and breathes food. In her comfortable farmhouse kitchen, Molly enjoys creating unique dishes that include elements of her Chinese and Jewish background and Midwestern cooking styles. The end result of this fusion is delicious. Multicultural dishes that are as beautiful as they are tasty. On TLC's show Girl Meets Farm season two, you can watch this master chef at work preparing her favorite recipes. Thanksgiving is an important family holiday in the U.S. This year, Molly and her husband Nick decide to host the event at their family farm. Molly puts together a full menu of home-cooked dishes that will tempt everyone's taste buds. She starts off by making her famous lemon almond cake with cranberry glaze, since it will take a while to bake. To balance out the sweetness of this dish, Molly adds some Greek yogurt to the mix. While the cake is in the oven, Molly shifts her attention to the main course. A giant sweet and smoky turkey. The secret to this mouth-watering dish is Molly's special rub. She makes it from scratch using fresh onion, garlic, and chili. Then she mixes in some tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, and several other spices. The mixture is then ground into a thick paste. Molly rubs the paste on the turkey. Before setting it on the grill to cook, when the guests arrive, they immediately notice the incredible aroma coming from the kitchen. It certainly smells like Thanksgiving in Molly's home, and this year, her guests have plenty of great food to be thankful for. Okay, everybody, let's talk about the contents of today's lesson again. It's on the Discovery Channel. Although I have a feeling that you can probably watch these programs on your phone somehow. There's probably、uh, programs on YouTube or wherever,、mm. or they have some kind of streaming service. Since people are indeed getting rid of their TVs,、yeah. do people even watch TV anymore? I'm not quite sure. But do you it, guys? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, we tune on the TV every so often. It's、mm. kind of fun. You know, I don't like to stare at the screen、yeah. of my smartphone all the time. It's bad for your eyes. Oh, I never watch shows on my phone. Yeah, it's ridiculous.、Ugh. Yeah, I'd rather have a nice big screen. And I think you can also, you know, send the signal from your phone to your you TV,、mm -hmm. uh, and you can watch it that way.、True. So you might want to consider doing that. But、uh, I like the title here because we've got a lot of M sounds here.、Yeah. Molly Yes, magnificent multicultural meals. It's too bad her surname isn't Ma or something. <laughs> Molly Ma's magnificent multicultural meals, but no, her name is Yeah. But、uh, we've got enough M's here to have a catchy title, and this is an article all about a woman by the name of Molly Yeah, which is a Chinese name, of course. And magnificent just means really wonderful,、mm -hmm. fantastic,、uh, stupendous, or whatever. And multicultural means involving many different cultures. Okay, so you could.、Uh, Uh, say that、uh, her multicultural mixing here is Jewish and Chinese, and probably because she grew up in America, she's got some elements there as well.、Uh, multicultural could be any combination: African, Hispanic,、uh, white, whatever. But in this particular case,、uh, she's、uh, Jewish and Chinese,、uh, growing up in America. And、uh, let's get to it. Let's talk about the first paragraph here. Oh,、it's、let a, me mention oh, yes, something、please. here.、Huh? You were saying there were a lot of M's on this title's name.、Uh, The title is actually a usage we call alliteration, where you use the same consonant over and over again. We think that's really clever, you know, as native speakers. You don't have to; it's just kind of fun to do it. But it's called alliteration. Could be like a tongue twister too, you yeah, know, like、uh, totally. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, or Betty Boffer baked a batch of something. I, I can't remember that one, but、uh, yeah, alliteration—that's what that's all about. Yeah.、Here. But、uh, let's get to it here in the first paragraph. It says Molly Yeah is a well-known cookbook author and food blogger.、Mm. So maybe you've heard of her. I don't really follow cooking that much. My daughter likes. To watch Gordon Ramsay、mm -hmm. because he's so mean to his students and stuff like that.、Mm -hmm. But I, I can't imagine Molly Yeah being so mean to、no. them. She looks like a real sweetheart here.、Yes. Uh, she writes cookbooks and she also posts. Uh, blogs or entries on her blog on the internet.、Uh, I guess people still write blogs. Although, oh, they do. Yeah.、Uh, most people are using Facebook these days. Or vlogs, a video log. That's a new one on、yeah. me, but that makes a lot of sense. So yes, indeed. Of course, if you're interested in getting some new recipes, you could probably find her blog on the internet someplace. Um, she's described too as being someone who people would describe as being someone who eats, sleeps, and breathes food. We use that phrase to talk about someone who's kind of obsessed about something. Oh, my little nephew eats, sleeps, and breathes baseball. He's only seven, but he's constantly looking at baseball statistics, and、uh, his mom has been、uh, catching him. Writing out all of these stats all over papers that are spread out through the house. So, if you love something a lot, maybe you're someone who eats, sleeps, and breathes music, or maybe you like some particular show, a Korean band, whatever. But if you eat, sleep, and do something, it just means you really love that particular thing. She's got a really cool farmhouse kitchen. That sounds really nice. Sounds like it's kind of a, a place where she can spread out. She's got lots more room than the people who live in big cities do. I don't have lots of room in my kitchen. Molly really enjoys creating unique dishes. If something's unique, it's really special. It's unlike other things of that kind. So she's probably a cook that experiments with adding different spices and ingredients and doing something a little different than maybe other people do. She has dishes that include elements or parts of her Chinese and Jewish background. This is、uh, her mixture:、uh, her dad's Chinese, her mom's Jewish, and she also uses her Midwestern cooking styles. They love to do a lot of barbecuing in the Midwest. 
Uh, yeah, I think、uh, her parents were members of the Chicago Symphony, if I'm not mistaken.、Oh, cool. They're musicians, and she's a musician too. I think she's a percussionist,、oh. playing drums and、mm -hmm. stuff like that. I think she studied at the Juilliard School, so she could have had a career in a symphony orchestra someplace. But I guess she chose food, and she lives with her husband, I think, who is also a musician,、uh, in the Midwest somewhere in North Dakota or Minnesota, in some place. And so that's why we're describing this as her midwestern kitchen. There, okay, a farmhouse kitchen. She lives in the country, and the Midwest, of course, is、uh, in the United States. Basically, places that are west of Ohio, you know, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, etc., etc. So she creates those unique dishes, and she has all sorts of things in her background there, her Jewish background. Her when she was growing up, of course, with her mother, and the end result of this fusion is delicious multicultural dishes that are as beautiful as they are tasty. So they are very beautiful, and they are very tasty as well. So yes, indeed, it's a fusion here that. That means when you put two things together and make something totally new.、Uh, we use this term in music a lot, like jazz fusion, where jazz is kind of mixed together with,、uh, say, rock and roll or something. That would be jazz fusion. Fusion also can be nuclear fusion, where you take two hydrogen atoms and stick them together, and you can create some energy that way. Right, you'll often see restaurants、uh, describe themselves as being a kind of restaurant that serves, for example, Asian fusion. So it's kind of different styles from all over Asia, mixed perhaps with some Western things as well. Fusion restaurants are really popular these days, as is fusion music. So keep your eyes peeled. For that, keep your eyes open、uh, for that word fusion. You'll know what it means to mix different things together, so it becomes kind of a new style altogether. So we've got this show、um, where they show Molly cooking up some delicious foods. They're multicultural dishes.、Uh, she's got an interesting background, so she kind of mixes her different,、uh, you know, cultures together and comes up with dishes that perhaps no one else has. And they're really beautiful to look at, but what's most important is that they're tasty. Yeah, it's nice to have dishes that look good, but I don't care if it tastes good. That's okay with me. But if you're a chef, you want your dis dishes to be inviting and for people to want to eat them.、Uh, so. They see the dish with their eyes first, as they always say on cooking shows. Now, on TLC's show, Girl Meets Farm season two, obviously there's been a season one. You might want to go back and watch the show from the beginning. You can watch、uh, Molly, who is described as being a master chef.、Uh, you can watch her preparing her favorite recipes. So she's a chef at work, a master chef at work. A chef is different than just a cook, you guys. A chef is someone who's professional, and they usually boss the other line cooks, line L I N E, the line cooks in the kitchen. So the chef is the boss. They're the one in charge, and they've usually had years and years of training. And she's going to be preparing her favorite recipes. A recipe is countable. It's a list of ingredients. Ingredients of the the food that you need to combine together to produce your dish. So you need a recipe if you want to make something.、Uh, some people just add things together. That's you know that's not the same. So you would buy a cookbook, and a cookbook is full of recipes and instructions on how to make that particular dish. We're going to take a quick break here. Listen to our Chinese teacher. And then we'll be back to talk more about Molly Ye and her dishes. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 今天我们要看的是第六单元。好，我们呢要来看一个美食节目。这个美食节目呢，它的主角叫做 Molly Ye。它所介绍的美食是属于农村飨宴。好，来我们来看看。这是一个什么样的节目？这边呢，他提到了猫爷，也就是我们的主厨，他其实本身是位美食家。那他写书，而且是美食的部落客。好，我们看这个字 ，blogger，blog Blog 就是所谓的部落格。当然，这个部落格也是一个音直接翻的字，但是大家都了解，在网络上，你有个人专属的一个网页，在上面发表你个人的文章。那这个作者。
就是一个 blogger 布洛克。好，那 Jamal 也他是一个什么样的呃一个美食家呢 ？She eats, sleeps, and breathes food. 这是一个很有趣的片语。我们说一个人呐、啊，吃啊，睡啊，连呼吸都是食物。当然，这个意思很直接明白，就表示说他热爱食物。所以这也就变成了一个片语 ：eat, sleep, and breathe something。当然。我们可以说你热爱运动、热爱游泳等等等，加任何名词都表示热爱。好，再来，接下来我们看他提到说他的料理，因为他个人的背景有中国的背景，有犹太的背景，当然他住的地方他有中西部的这种烹饪风格，所以融合起来就是一个多元文化的菜肴，所以可以说是 multicultural。那谈到这里。又说到，那他做出来的食物呢？说它是多元的文化菜肴，可是重点是 as beautiful as they are tasty。这句话当然有 as as， 意思就是说看起来呢，当然是很美观的，可是吃起来呢，也是跟美观一般般。意思就是一样的，又赏心又悦目。好，那他这个节目叫做什么名字？英文叫。Girl Meets Farm， 这中文翻成“农村女孩料理去”。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. Let's continue talking about our article for today. Mali Ye's magnificent multicultural meals. So we've talked about Mali Ye. Of course, she has a farmhouse kitchen, coming up with unique dishes, and she can use the elements of her Chinese and Jewish background to create those wonderful new dishes、mm. that are as beautiful as they are tasty. And of course, this show is entitled "Girl Meets Farm Season Two." Interesting, there, girl meets. Meets farm. That means the girl is living on a farm and coming up with these recipes.、Uh, when I see that, of course, I think of the phrase "boy meets girl." Okay,、mm -hmm. so、oh, what kind of movie is that? Well, you know, it's a, a typical boy meets girl movie. He meets the girl. He falls in love with her. He chases her. She doesn't like him at first, but he wins her heart, and they get married in the end. Yeah. So the title of this show is actually just a variation or a spin on "boy meets girl" or "girl meets." Boy, kind of funny though, because we've got a girl meeting a farm, which isn't really a person, but it's a cute title, I think. Now, moving on to the second paragraph, it says Thanksgiving is an important family holiday in the U.S. It really is. Christmas is number one, and then Thanksgiving is probably number two in popularity. I love Thanksgiving. It's all about eating, and actually, we get more days off. To You know, just to hang out with family. Christmas, Christmas, the twenty fifth of December could fall on a Wednesday. Some people don't get that whole week off, so it's easier actually to get the family together on Thanksgiving than Christmas sometimes.、Mm. But at least in my family, so it is a really important family holiday. And this year, we're talking about what Molly and her husband are planning on doing. We're going to keep it all in the present tense. So this year, Molly and her husband Nick they decide to host the event. At their family farm, it's one of the first things you do as a big family. You decide whose house are you going to meet at and have Thanksgiving dinner. We used to always meet at my mom and dad's because it was the biggest. But since my mom is gone now, we go out and have Thanksgiving dinner at my sister's house because she does most of the cooking now. <laughs> yeah, I think we have it at my parents' house, but、uh, my sister does all the cooking、mm. since my mother and my father are getting on in years. Yeah. But in any case,、uh, they decide to host this event, Thanksgiving, at their family farm. So everybody has to drive out to the country there and kick up the dust. When they drive on those gravel roads, and Molly puts together a full menu of home cooked dishes that will tempt everyone's taste buds. So yes, she's got a meal there. A Thanksgiving meal will have lots of dishes.、Uh, you know, usually traditionally it's the turkey, the stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberries, green beans,、uh, green beans, etc., etc. So she probably has those plus some other ones here because they're going to tempt 
Everyone's taste buds to、mm. tempt means to sort of lure or attract someone to something, and they'll just see that stuff and they'll want to taste it. The taste buds are the things on your tongue that actually do the tasting. Yum! So we're actually talking about the process of her cooking. She's starting with something they're going to eat last, probably because it's dessert, but it takes longer to bake. So she starts off making、um, all of these new dishes that she's planned for Thanksgiving dinner. By making her famous lemon almond cake with cranberry glaze, we'll talk about that in a minute. To start off just means you start something.、Um, we started off our our party by introducing ourselves to all the guests. Or we're going to start off tonight by listening to Mr. Smith give a speech, and then we'll be、uh, taking questions from all of you. So it's just a way to start something. So she starts off the whole process. By making her cake first sounds really delicious. It's lemon and almond flavors together. That's what the cake tastes like. And then on the outside, instead of using frosting, she's making a glaze. A glaze is just a flavor that's added to a sugar、um, that's thinned out. So the glaze is very thin,、um, and it kind of makes it shiny on top. Uh, you usually see a glaze if you're making a lemon pound cake, for example.、Um, this sounds really delicious, actually. And then, so it doesn't get too sweet because I'm sure some people in her family who are on the Chinese side they don't like really sweet desserts, right? So she wants to balance out that sweetness of the cake. So she adds some Greek yogurt to the mix. Greek yogurt is not sweet at all, so it kind of makes it taste less sweet by adding that yogurt. Probably to I don't know whether she's adding it to the cake itself or the frosting or the glaze on top. Yeah, especially if it's、uh, plain yogurt, it actually can be kind of sour. Yeah. So there's kind of a balance between sweet and sour there. Greek yogurt, because if you buy regular yogurt in the stores here, it can be really sweet. Uh, yeah. So I tend not to eat the yogurt here in Taiwan because it's way too sweet. I buy the Greek yogurt; it's good. If you can find it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So in any case,、uh, she's、uh, doing this cake first because it takes longer to make this. Of course,、mm. if you're making a meal, you have to plan things out. What takes long. Longer, you have to do first, etc., etc. And while the cake is in the oven, she can be busy with other things. So during the time that the cake is in the oven, Molly shifts her attention to the main course: a giant sweet and smoky turkey. So here we've got the verb to shift, which means to change something, to shift your attention, to change your attention. You're focusing on one thing, and then you focus on another thing. So she shifts her attention to the main. Main course, the main part of the meal, of which at Thanksgiving, of course, is always the turkey.、Uh, even though turkey meat is kind of dry and tasteless, it's、uh, more or less what you do with it—the kind of sauce you put on it and stuff like that, the gravy or whatever.、Mm -hmm. In this case, I guess it's sweet and smoky. That's a flavor I haven't tried before. Sounds good. What she does is she prepares the turkey like you would if you were making barbecued beef or pork. It's something called a rub. It's Powders mixed together with a little bit of liquid, and then you use your hands and you rub those different, you know, spices and different flavors into the skin of the turkey, and then it it absorbs it as it cooks. So she makes her rub from scratch. There's no bottle that she buys at the store. She's making this herself with all of the ingredients, and、uh, it's probably quite special. She uses fresh onion, garlic, and chili. It all sounds good. Then she mixes in some tomato paste. Tomato paste is when you flatten the tomatoes, and it it just、uh, it's very thick. It's not liquid, but it's a thick. You can buy tomato paste here to make、uh, spaghetti sauce if you want. And then apple cider vinegar, which adds a little. Tang to it is a little bitter, a little sour, I guess. Those are the ingredients in her rub. So the mixture is then ground into a thick paste. So the mixture is just things you put together. You're going to mix things together to produce a new mixture, or in this case, it's her special rub, and then ground into a thick paste. So if you grind something, guys, that's the present tense form of the past of ground. Just means. To make something become smaller and smaller, we'll take ground beef. We'll take beef, and we'll put it through a grinder, and it turns into hamburger. You know, so that will 
make it into smaller pieces. It's turning into a thick paste, and she uses that to rub on the outside of the turkey skin before setting it on the grill to cook. Oh, so they're cooking outside. It sounds like. Mm. Mm, yeah, I hope it's not the、uh, dead of winter there because it can get quite cold、yeah. in Minnesota there or North Dakota. Even so, in yeah, even at Thanksgiving. Oh,、uh, you bet. So when the guests arrive, they immediately notice the incredible aroma coming from the kitchen. Yum! Right away, immediately they notice it. Wow, there's a great smell coming from the kitchen.、Yeah. I can't wait. That smell is so mouth watering. So it certainly smells like Thanksgiving in Molly's home. And this year, her guests have. Plenty of great food to be thankful for, but you know it's actually July here, so folks, we still got a couple of months to wait <laughs> until Thanksgiving. So hold your horses, don't get too excited.、Uh, you'll have your turkey in plenty of time. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 好，我们继续来看这篇文章。我们提到。农村女孩料理区，这已经到了 season two 了，也就是第二季了。这个节目里面，我们先来看看这一集内容是什么啊、哦？原来跟感恩节有关。在 Thanksgiving Day 这一天呢 ，Molly 跟她的先生决定要设宴款待朋友们，所以她就准备了什么？准备了家常菜，一桌的家常菜。我们来看看这个片语 ：home cooked dishes。我们知道 home 当然指家里。你如果把它跟别的字一个过去分词放在一起的时候，哎，就会形成一个复合形容词。比如像这里 home cooked， 它讲的是菜肴是在家里被煮的，所以这就是我们中文说的家常菜。好，那除了做家常菜，那当然这一桌的菜肴里面需要有甜点。他这一餐他做的料理就从甜点开始，他做了柠檬杏仁蛋糕。哎，那因为这个是需要时间的，所以呢，就先从甜点。开始，接下来呢？他说到，当他把这个蛋糕放到烤箱里的时候，就开始进行煮菜的部分了。好，我们看到这一段里面的开头写了一个 while while the cake is in the oven。我们知道 while 有不同的解释，看前后文来决定。当然，最常看到的就是，哎，当一件事在进行，另外一件事情也同时进行。所以，在这边来说，当蛋糕正在烤箱里，就同时要注意到了它的主菜要做什么。哎，这个主菜呢，他说到是要做蜜汁烟熏火鸡。我们来看看这道菜，他说有一个特殊的秘诀。The secret to this mouth-watering dish. 好，先看到这里，后面这个字 mouth-watering， 这又是一个复合形容词。我们知道 mouth 是嘴巴，它是一个名词。后面呢有一个 watering，water Water 本来就是流口水，所以会让你的嘴巴流口水的。这样非常呃让人垂涎欲滴的菜肴。好，这个记得名词后面 v i n g。接下来就说到了他怎么做这道菜，他是从头开始。当你做什么事情，后面这个动词后头接了一个 from scratch， 哎，这个片语用在这里，连着动词在一起，就表示从一开始，而不是找现成的材料，是从头自己做。好，那他后面呢还提到说他怎么样的啊。混合了一些的材料，然后做成了一个 paste 这样的酱，然后再把它烤，把它涂在这个烤鸡上，这个火鸡上头，等等等。好，那当然我们就知道了这两个，包括的甜点，包括的这个主菜。当客人来的时候，闻到满是的新香，嗯，想必这是一顿真的令人觉得非常美味的感恩节大餐。好，我们今天讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and make sure you join us again next time when we continue to talk about Molly Ye's magnificent multicultural meals. Until then, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie.、Goodbye. Bye.